Welcome back to another episode of Kenda's Corner. Today we're going to make pumpkin choker and this is the different ways that I had this with sada roti and rice. Even with sada roti and rice, that was really good. Didn't expect that but it was good. So let's get into this. Welcome back. I'm going to prep my pumpkin to put it in the oven to bake it at 500 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 minutes. That link of how I did that would be above and also in the end screen. Click the bell for news. Let's get into it. the ingredients. We have some cilantro, black pepper, we have pimento, hot pepper, we have garlic, onion, um, and we have some scythe and sweet pepper. Again, we have sweet pepper, pimento, hot pepper, onion, garlic, freshly ground black pepper, cilantro, and salt. Firstly, I am going to cook all of those aromatics in some oil. To my preheated pan, I add at least a good cooking spoon. And then I am going to add some meaty seeds just to patch, do not burn them. So we're adding this to flavor the oil and to also flavor the rest of the aromatics that we are going to add into this. Firstly, we're going to add the hot pepper to add extra flavor to that oil. We don't want the hot pepper to burn. And then we're going to add half of a yellow onion once that hot pepper is added. And after that, we are going to add the sai, the sweet pepper, and the pimento. And then we're going to flavor with our salt and our freshly ground black pepper. This recipe, traditionally, you don't do this. What you would do after doing the pumpkin, you would heat some oil and throw the oil over the pumpkin. So you would normally like cut up the onion, rest on top of the pumpkin, then throw the heated oil on top of that. And in a mortar, you would mash some garlic with some salt and some bandana. And you will also add that in to the choker and then mix everything. So I'm just doing it a little different by cooking it on the stove, adding everything on the stove, cooking it, and then adding everything into the choker. Now, this is not how it is traditionally done. As I mentioned previously, that is how it is traditionally done. Not this way, but I'm just doing something a little different. Just in case you don't have a mortar at home, you could just do this instead of having to mash the salt and the garlic and the pepper in a one container and then adding it in. You could just do it like this and add everything and mix it in and then adjust your salt. So it's ready and I'm going to put it aside and prep my pumpkin. So my pumpkin is cooked 40 minutes later. I am going to add it to my glass container and I'm going to mash it with my potato masher. You could also use the back of a spoon, that's okay. Or you could put this in a mortar and that's the traditional way, you know. So I'm just using the back, sorry, the potato masher and I'm going to add all of this to my pumpkin once it is smooth to my satisfaction and at this point once that is added i'm going to taste for extra salt and see if it needed so i also going to use my roasted garlic and roasting is so much easier because it just slides right out and it melts right into whatever you're adding it into and it gives that nice extra smoky taste to whatever you're using that in and i didn't need to add any extra salt this is a recipe where you add flavoring to suit your palate 
especially this type of a recipe because it all depends on how sweet the pumpkin you're using is. So I had this with some sada roti and later on I had this with some rice. Thank you for watching this quick pumpkin choker demo. Welcome back to Candice Corner. Today we are going to make some pumpkin pancakes. For the full demo on my pumpkin puree, click in the cards for that video. 